Hi, everybody. This is Joe Rebello, known to many on the internet in the martial arts world as Kenpo Joe. Um, I normally jokingly say when I set up a video, it's due to something I saw on the internet that either upset me or bothered me or whatever. And uh, this morning, I definitely saw one from a gentleman, Philip Starr, uh, writing on uh, his, um, uh, his Kung Fu Facebook page. And he wrote an article, The Shape of the Hand. And after I read it, I was so disgusted and so appalled and so just ticked off that I knew I had to write a video, or I had to do a video on this, rather, due to what he wrote. Um, I wrote him, and his response to me, well, in 60 years of Chinese martial arts, I've never seen this hand strike before. You need to get out more, okay? Uh, let's explain this. Uh, in the article, he writes about the quote-unquote alleged crinkled hand in Kenpo, and that how... He, he attributes this no less to a karate master, Sato Sensei, having rickets, arthritis, that his hand curled and, quote unquote, he couldn't make a hand sword. Really? Wow. Um, you know, Ed Park has a great phrase ignorance is the anesthesia that deadens the pain of stupidity. Um, I was really disgusted by this, and I was like, if anyone. Him writing this article, I, 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 was, I, I, I shook my head, you know, uh, you know um, SMH shaking my head, going, are you kidding me? You, 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 you? But I'd rather light a candle and curse the darkness, but I'm so upset I'll do both. First of all, Kenpo, and it's Mandarin Chinese pronunciation, Chuan Fa, and it's Okinawan pronunciation, Kenpo, and it's Japanese pronunciation, Kenpo, and it's Korean pronunciation, Kwan Ba. Uh, in any of those incarnations, Kenpo is a since is a combination of Chinese Kung Fu, Okinawan Karate, and modern scientific street fighting. In the aspects and understanding of Kung Fu, there are many claw hands and many poison hand strikes, which are a reference to open hand strikes. The first depiction is in relationship, and you'll see the images of various uh, animals behind me and mythological creatures that all utilize claws. Again, in Southern Kung Fu, we have the five-finger Fu Jiao. Again, the tiger claw from Cantonese. We then have the five-finger configuration bring the hands together in Northern-style eagle claw. In Japanese, it is known as the tiger mouth. Also, uh, again, it's also utilized not only in karate, but also in various systems of jujitsu. Also, we have the four-finger claw, which utilizes in Hungar Kung Fu. Again, utilizing the index finger extended as the other fingers are, are curled in a claw configuration. There is then the, the three-finger claw. The southern-style eagle claw utilizes this configuration as well. We also have the two-finger crab claw utilized in relationship to open fingers being used in a claw configuration to rip, tear, and gouge into the body. Two-finger claw, three-finger claw, four-finger claw, five-finger claw, either separate or together. Next, we have the understanding of thrusting. Now, in the article, Sifu Star, uses a picture of Larry Tatum standing like so, Mr. Parker standing like so, and another gentleman standing like so. This is the utilization of variations on what's known as the Kempo hand sword, and we're going to explain that and elaborate upon that for Sifu Star's edification as well as many others. Now, the thrusting action, we have the individual single thread like in Hungar, but also to thrust slice, and poke in various configurations. Ippon nukite for the karate aficionados. Then we have the two-finger action, which is closed in the tian shou, or sword finger strike, which is normally used with the left hand in configuration with a qian or gim in the right hand, meaning a double-edged sword to triangulate qi and act to offset action to parry, redirect, and extend qi through this two-finger action. Also utilized in the art of dim mak or tian shui to strike various vital points. 
The open hand configuration is also known as a mortal man points the way. Again, the action utilized with the chin show with an open hand to compound and thrust and poke with the fingers while ripping and tearing with the others in a coffin configuration or flattening them to focus upon the thrusting action. This particular depiction is from Finger Set, which is one of the sets in, in Kenpo, where we stab into our opponent's eye in a cross finger configuration, hence the position from the set. We also have the three finger position, which is based on the male mudra. It's not used in Kenpo, but other systems of Kung Fu utilized its original meditative position, straightening the fingers to cause the diagonal action for slicing motion across the eyes, stabbing into various particular uh, cavities of the body that align in this particular position as the other two fingers are rolled in the male mudra, and that's okay to utilize. Thank you. Of course, there is the traditional forefinger or yonhon nukate as opposed to the nihon nukate or ippon nukate utilized in karate systems. We also utilize the yubi basami, the thumb configuration, either in an extended action to drive into the eyes, a tearing, ripping motion, again, also utilized again to thrust, poke, etc. Many Chinese would grow their, their thumbnail to slice the eye and slice the eyelid as well, to tear the eyelid off in a circular configuration. This is one of the many motions that we utilize in one of our finger sets. And also, in uh, ancient Chinese culture, they many times would grow their pinky nail to utilize the scoop for snuff or in, in uh, ses one of the sets that we utilize in one of our advanced forms, to drive into the corners of the eyelid, slice the eyelid, drive our thumbnails directly into the eye sockets. These are just some of the many Chinese and Kung Fu influence configurations. But now, let's get to the Kenpo hand sword, shall we? And for I call it that for lack of a better term, the Kenpo hand position. This particular hand position combines several different weapons. If we utilize this in a circular fashion, we can first of all strike with the base bone here, known to many as the Japanese as the ox hand, driving in an outward configuration, hitting with the point of that bone, and at that point utilizing a windshield wiper-like action. Earlier, we alluded to the fingernail with the, with the pinky for a slicing and clawing action, similar to many styles of Kung Fu which utilize a circular inward and outward tiger claw raking motion. The last two fingers are used for that slicing motion into the eye socket. Next, these two fingers, and again, we should go back to another important position, the Swang Lung or twin dragon strike. Twin dragon searching for the pearls, twin dragon diving for the pearls, as one instructor referred to it, can be utilized in either a closed finger position or an open hand position to drive in, and then compounding this with a thumb gouge, rape, or ripping motion. So again, ox jaw, shuto, knife hand, chopping with the knife hand to the side of the neck raking the fingers across the eyes, driving the fingers into the eyes, turning the hand and driving the thumb into the eyes. Also utilizing a thrusting position and then utilizing a raking action, dropping it into a twin dragon strike or striking with this, grabbing the rest of the face and driving the two fingers into the eye sockets. These are just some of several configurations utilizing this alleged crinkled hand. Uh, like I said, I, you know, with all due respect to, to Sifu Star, I followed your career for decades, sir. I read your numerous articles in everything from Inside Kung Fu to Kung Fu Tai Chi Magazine. I followed your accomplishments in promoting Kung Fu through the AAU and your lifelong study of the various Kung Fu systems. So, it's got to be the things that make you go, huh? From you? Really? Wow. You know, and as I wrote to him in response after his mention about being 60 years in Kung Fu, it must be tough to, to see the forest with all those trees in the way. I'm just sad and disappointed in you, sir. I really am.
but it also inspired me to educate you and many others on this configuration of these crinkled hands. Well, hopefully, sir, in a world full of vincible and invincible ignorance. Oh, you don't know what that is? Simple. Vincible ignorance is when a person doesn't know something and you educate them and now they know. Invincible ignorance is when I do a video like this and you still say, well, I still don't get it. Hopefully, it's the former and not the latter. This is Joe Rebello, known to the internet and martial arts world as Kenpo Joe. I hope I've educated you. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, that I'm going to put on these various Kenpo boards today, go look at this article. And at that point, you get to do the two things you can't do during sex. Point and laugh. Yeah, I wish I could have laughed at it too. But hey, I made this video. Until next time, keep training.